Welcome back to Black Enterprise Business Report. From war-torn refugees to million-dollar businessmen, Black Enterprise correspondent Shannon Lanier has our Entrepreneur of the Week's inspiring story. Sean, it's a story of survival, how two businessmen beat the odds and success never smelt so good. The organic lotions, soaps, oils, and lavish body products of Sundial Creations now grace the shelves of stores like Macy's, JCPenney, and Target. But co-founders and college roommates Reshlu Dennis and Nima Tubman reminisce on their struggles 17 years ago when they started the company as a means of survival. I'm uh, originally from Liberia, born and raised. I came to America to go to college. By the time we got out of college, the war had started in Liberia and at that point we didn't have the option of going back home because the fighting had intensified. Well, um, I was going through no job, um, no home to go to, uh, family uh, having lost everything and just trying to figure out a way to survive and trying to figure out a way to feed my family. So at that point it was like, okay, well, what do we do next? My uh, grandmother sold shea butter and black soap in our village market in Sierra Leone, and um, I started selling the same thing on the 125th Street in New York. Bootstrapped it all the way. Started with, you know, a few pounds of shea butter, uh, a few pounds of oil, some soap, and just kept plowing the money back in, kept plowing the money back in. So what was the key behind your success? I wouldn't say that there was one singular key other than the will to survive. A simple concept for a company that still imports natural and healing ingredients from Africa and other countries. Last year they earned 10 million in retail sales with 16 million expected in 2009. And it's all made and managed with the help of their 30 employees out of their Amityville, New York headquarters. It's all one stop shop, everything, you know materials, make the product, package it, box it, and send it to the customer. Many entrepreneurs desire to be in big retail stores like Macy's. How did you all do it? For 16 years, prior to getting into these outlets, we had really built up an infrastructure. We had built up a distribution network. We had built up a reputation in the marketplace. We had built up customer loyalty. So we had a acquired a lot of the um, intrinsic value that you need in order to compete in that broader arena. If your company is looking to do the same, Dennis says make sure your product is authentic and special. Being a Me Too uh, product or brand is not going to get you the sustainability that you're going to need to, to compete against anybody. Uh, so for us, authenticity, I think, has been, has been uh, core to our, to our success. He also suggests you fully understand the business. Making sure that you understand what it's going to take to make you profitable, making sure that you understand uh, how long it's going to take you to get there, and making sure that you have the resources to do it. Because one of the most challenging things in a business um, like ours or, or any is capital and making sure that you have access to it when you need it to be able to grow the business. In this day and age with the internet, with, um, you know, with, with just the market that we live in, I think you can start a business with next to nothing. You can start a business with $50. You can start over $100. And it's just a matter of being disciplined and sticking with your game plan. While Sundial Creations has stayed on their game long enough to be successful in retail stores, they say they'll never forget where they started. And to bring it full circle, they still offer opportunities for community members to also sell their unique products. Giving people a product that benefits them, a product that's made specifically with them in mind, and then also giving them an opportunity to earn income from that, I think was probably the single most rewarding part of this. Um, and, and what I think really drives us at this point. Up next, Sonia Lane helps you create the illusion of a lavish wedding on a shoestring budget.